seas and desert sands. Oh God, our King, be present among us. Send down, O Lord, thy mercy and bless us. Oh God, our King, be present among us. Sorry, my best not to do the two questions. So, 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 Glory to God on the highest son on earth, peace, goodwill towards men. Glory to God on the highest son on earth, peace, goodwill towards men. O Lord, open thy my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. Spirit and soul and body. Prostit mani, forgive me. Blessed us with a conscience to guide us and help us comprehend thy mysteries. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto the ages of age of. Amen. In peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace from above, for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the good estate of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house and for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For his grace, our bishop, Elidion, for the honorable presbyter, for the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. <clears throat> for our God, loving and God, protected country, Canada, its government, armed forces, and for all our pious people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this city and for every city, village, and country, and for the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For faithful weather and abundance of the fruits of the earth, for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For those who travel by sea, land, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the imprisoned, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have Mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious city, Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our God. To you. O Lord, our God, your powers indescribable, your glories incomprehensible, mercy, boundless love for mankind is ineffable, according to your tender compassion. O Master, look down on us on this holy temple and grant us and those who pray with us your abundant mercies and compassion. For to you are to all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto the ages of age. Amen. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and not and forget not all the blessings that He renders to you, for He is gracious about all your iniquities. He is the healer of all your infirmities, the redeemer of your life from corruption who in his mercy and tender love awards you a crown. 
The Lord is compassionate and merciful, long-suffering and very merciful. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Blessed are you, O Lord. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance your most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious city of Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ, our God. To you, O Lord. O Lord, God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Preserve the fullness of your church, sanctify those who love the beauty of your house, and glorify them in return by your divine power, and forsake us not or put our hope in you. For yours is the majesty, and yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul. I will praise the Lord throughout my life. I will sing praises to my God for as long as I live. Put not your trust in rulers, in the sons of men in whom there is no salvation. His spirit will depart from him, and to his earth will he return. On that day, all his plans pass. The Lord will reign forever. Your God, O Zion, unto generation and generation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Only begotten Son and Word of God, you are immortal, and it will for our salvation to become incarnate of the Holy Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary and without change became man, and were crucified, O Christ God, trampling down death by death, being one of the Holy Trinity, glorified together with the Father and the Holy Spirit, save us. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious city, Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ, ever God. To you. For to you are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. In your kingdom remember us, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. 
Blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are they that are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. O Master, Lord God, you've established in the heavens Blessed and are you when they shall revile and persecute you, and speak all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. Premudris tain mo popojendo. Come, let us worship and bow down before <coughs> Christ, O Son of God, risen from the dead. Save us who sing to you, Hallelujah. When you descended to death, O life immortal, you destroyed Hades with the lightning of your divinity. And when from the depths you raised the dead, all the powers of heaven cried out, O giver of life, Christ our God, glory to you. Through faith you justified the forefathers when through them you betrothed yourself to the church. From among the nations, the saints exult in glory, that from their seed came a blessed fruit, she who bore you without seed. By their prayers, O Christ God, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. You would not worship a handmaid image O thrice blessed ones, but armed with the boundless essence of God, you were glorified in a trial by fire, standing in the midst of unbearable flames, you called on God. Hasten, O compassionate one, Come quickly to our defense, since you are merciful, for you are able if it be your will. For you are holy, O our God, and unto you we send up glory to the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of age.
святого духові і нині посяк часи на віки second tone. Blessed are you, Lord, of our fathers, and praised and glorified is your name to the age of. Blessed are you, <clears throat> Lord, of God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is your name to the age of. For you are righteous in all that you have done for us. Blessed are you, Lord God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is your name to the ages. Blessed are you, Lord, Lord God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is your name to the ages. To the Galatians. Let us be attentive. Brethren, when Christ, who is our life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Therefore, put to death your members which are on the earth fornication, uncleanliness, passion evil desire and covetousness which is idolatry because of these things the wrath of God is coming upon the sons of disobedience in which you yourselves once walked when you lived in them but now you yourselves are to put off all these anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy language out of your mouth. Do not lie to one another since you have put off the old man with his deeds and have not and have put on the new man who is renewed in knowledge according to the image of him who created him, where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcised nor uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave nor free, but Christ is all and in all. Peace be to you, O reader. And to your spirit. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia in the fourth tone. to them. 
Make the pure light of your divine knowledge shine in our hearts, O Master, lover of mankind, and open the eyes of our mind that we may understand the teachings of your gospel. Instill in us also the fear of your blessed commandments so that overcoming all cardinal desires may pursue a spiritual life, both thinking and doing all things that are pleasing to you. For you, O Christ, God, are light of our souls and bodies, and to we send up glory together, for our, together with your Father's everlasting, your all holy, good and life-granting spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom, stand aright, let us listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all. And to your spirit. <clears throat> the reading is from the Holy Gospel according to the Evangelist Luke. Glory to Let us be attentive. The Lord spoke this parable. A man once gave a great banquet and invited many. And at the time for the banquet, he sent his servant to say to those who had been invited, Come, for all is now ready. But one by one they began to make excuses. The first said to him, I have bought a field and I must go out and see it. I pray you have excuse. And another said, I have brought five yoke of oxen, and I go to examine them. I pray you have me excused. And another said, I have married a wife, and therefore I cannot come. So the servant came and reported this to his master. Then the household in anger said to his servant, Go out quickly to the streets and lanes of the city, and bring in the poor and the maimed and the blind and the lame. And the servant said, Sir, what you have commanded has been done, and still there is room. And the master said to the servant, Go out to the highways and the hedges, and compel people to come in, that my house may be filled. For I tell you, none of those men who were invited shall taste my banquet, for many are called, but few are chosen. Slava Jesus Christ. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Glory be forever. In today's gospel reading, we hear of this great banquet. This parable, as Christ tells us, is one to remind us of who is invited and who is to the meal, to, the, to his kingdom of heaven, to his holy Eucharist. Today, as I sadly look out into our church on these great holidays of the Nativity, we see so few people These days are not about presence. They're not about a turkey, boxing day shopping, getting discounts. But they're about gathering to be with our, our Lord. Christ didn't come into the world so that we could just be aware of it and go about our business. He came into the world, he comes into the world as God, taking on flesh, the holy incarnation. He comes so that each and every one of us 
each and every one of his creation can begin to build a relationship with our Lord. What better way to spend time with your family than to come and pray? His Grace, Bishop Aletion, at our Western Africa Assembly a few months ago, said if we don't begin our faith in our homes with our families, how do we expect our children to come through the doors of the church when we're no longer here? How do we teach our children that the faith, the incarnate Lord is important if we don't make it happen first in our home? If we don't remind them that yes, you can go out and have fun and visit your friends and, uh, and enjoy the holiday season. But after we pray, as many who grew up or followed traditions, the, the tradition European Ukrainian or Russian or, or Eastern European t types of, of traditions at this time of year, we talk about fasting. It's almost a standard. Whether or not you were planning to go to church or not, you fasted all day before that meal on Christmas Eve. You waited for that first star to be shining in the sky before you broke bread. One interesting thing that I remember reading always as a child as we prepared for the Holy Nativity, the meal in the, on the eve, is that all of the animals in the barn, all of your livestock were tended to, fed fresh straw, because they gave up their home for our Lord. He wasn't born in a warm place with no wind blowing through the walls, but he was in the trough, the manger, the place where you, play, you place the straw for the animals to eat. Our world is casting aside the very values that we hold dear. It is becoming more important to go out and to live a secular life and not be a Christian and not follow that which Christ puts before us. We become like these, these three examples in the gospel of the one who was married, the one who bought his yoke of five yokes of oxen, and the other one who bought his land and say, I've got more important things, God, than to be with you. More important things. But yet, but yet, our Lord doesn't sit there and say, okay, be gone with you. No, he still gives us those opportunities to come back because he loves us. But the question is, at the last judgment, when we're before Christ, what are we going to say? What are we going to say when he says, where were you when this was needing to be done? Where were you when I called with the fear of God, with faith and love, draw near at every divine liturgy? Where were you on that feast day? We need to do our best to be the example that we can be in our lives, for our children, for our families. And let them know that our Heavenly Father is not merely here 
as a passing event. And most specifically during this time, what really I struggle with personally is this idea that yesterday was the nativity on the, on the Gregorian calendar. And our world, the trees come down on Boxing Day or some people on Christmas Day, the carols end, the Christmas themes are gone, forget about the nativity, it's done. But yet, the truth is, you're pre-celebrating a feast for a month and a half where we need to be celebrating the feast. We need to bring back the practices in our world of caroling after Christmas until Theophany. As many of us in the Orthodox traditions do, from the Nativity to Theophany, we carol. We bring the good news of the, of the incarnate Lord being born in a manger. Dear brothers and sisters, this is where it is time to be a Christian. We have to stop allowing the secular world to pull us away from our churches. It is not okay to miss a service because the football game is on. Because there's a sale and I want to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning to wait outside the mall so I can get the first piece of uh, audio equipment because that's the best thing. It's a discount. If it's so important, God will make sure you get it at the discount that you need it to be in order to purchase it. If we have our faith, if we keep ourselves faithful and in relationship with God, our life changes. And dear brothers and sisters, that is what we want, is a changed life, a relationship with our fa Holy Father, our Heavenly God, because that is where salvation is. It's not in the world outside the doors of this church. It's here, in our, our homes, when we are faithful, praying, bringing that, that Christian living into our lives on a daily basis. Let us cast off the struggles of the world and be one with our Heavenly Father. Let us remember this in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us all say, with our whole soul, with our whole mind, let us say, Lord, have mercy. O oh Lord, Almighty God of our fathers, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O oh God, according to your great loving kindness, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Oh Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for his eminence, our metropolitan unity, for our bishop is grace so letting on for the brethren presbyters priests monks and for all our brethren in Christ <clears throat> again we pray for our God loving in God protected country Canada it's got people government armed forces that the Lord God will help them in all things and protect them from every enemy and adversary again we pray for the blessed and ever member Orthodox patriarchs for the founders of this holy temple and for all Orthodox Christians, be part of this life before us, who here and everywhere lie sleep in the Lord. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, God's visitation, and the forgiveness and remission of sins for the servants of God, the parishioners of this holy temple. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray unto you, O Lord God, here the prayer of sinners and have mercy upon your servants 
the priest at us, the priest Michael, the priest Israel, the Brigitte Diana, the Brigitte Catherine, Anastasia, Ron, Valerie, Joanne, Olga, Danica, Julian, Kira, Steve, Elsie, Alan, Arlene, and protect them from all affliction, right, evil, wrath, danger, and necessity from spiritual and physical illness, and grant to them health and long life. We beseech you, hear us, and have mercy. Again, we pray unto you, O Lord our God, that you'll grant unto your servant, Steve, Fergus, Daryl, Donna, Eleanor, Julian, and our holy patriarch, Bartholomew, healing from their illness and from every malady, raising them from their beds, give them health and soul and body, we beseech you, hear us and have mercy. Again, we pray unto you, O Lord our God, Hear us in our need and our great thirst for your presence as you said. The harvest is indeed great, but the laborers are few. And we pray that you will open the hearts of many to a desire to bring in the harvest dedicated holy priests, deacons, and monastics, when following your example will serve your people and satisfy their spiritual needs. Hear us, O Lord, and have mercy. Again, we pray, O Lord, embrace our young people. Give them the courage required to overcome all obstacles in life all temptations which might plunge them into spiritual darkness. Give to the parents their first teachers of faith, morality, and piety. The courage to be the guiding light in their lives. Hear us, O Lord, and have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in this holy, venerable temple, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people who are present who wait your great and abundant mercy. For you are merciful, God, and lover of mankind, and you we send up glory to the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. God, a humans pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Let us, the faithful, pray for the catechumens that the Lord will have mercy on them. Lord, have mercy. That he will enlighten them with the word of truth. Lord, have mercy. That you'll reveal to them the gospel of righteousness. Lord, have mercy. That you'll unite them to his holy Catholic and apostolic church. Lord, have mercy. Help them, save them, have mercy on them, and protect them, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Catechumens, bow your heads to the Lord. To you, Lord. O Lord, your God, who dwells on high and regards a humble of heart, you have sent forth your only begotten Son and God, our Lord Jesus Christ, as a salvation human race. Look upon your servants, the catechumens, who bow their heads. Beth their necks and be before you, make them worthy in due time, allow every generation for the forgiveness of sins. The robe of incorruption, unite them to your holy Catholic and apostolic church and number them among your chosen flock. That with us they may also glorify your most honorable, majestic name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. All catechumens depart, catechumens depart, let none of the catechumens remain. Let us, the faithful, again and again in peace. Pray unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Wisdom. We give thanks to you, O Lord God of hosts, for you made us worthy to stand even now before your holy altar and to bow down before your compassion for our sins and for the errors, for the failings of the people. Accept our prayer, O God, and and make us worthy to offer you prayers and supplications and blood the sacrifices for all your people. Enable us who you place in this, your ministry, by the power of your Holy Spirit, to call upon you at all times and all places without condemnation or offense, but with a clear conscience, that hearing us, you may be merciful to us according to your goodness. For to you belongs all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Wisdom. Again and oftentimes we fall down before you when we pray to you, O good one and lover of mankind, that looking down upon our petition, we cleanse our souls and bodies from all defilement of flesh and spirit, and grants us to stand blameless and without condemnation before your holy altar. 
Grant also to those who pray with us, O God, growth in life and faith and spiritual understanding. Grant them to worship you blamelessly with fear and love and to partake without condemnation of your holy mysteries and to be accounted worthy of your heavenly kingdom. That ever guarded by your might may send up glory unto you, to the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Let us submissively represent the chairman of the Thrice to him for the life current trends and let us have a set of cares that are received the King of all come visibly upon by the jaws of Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Let us submissively represent the chairman of the Thrice to him for the life current trends and let us have a set of cares that are received the King of all come visibly upon by the jaws of Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Let us submissively represent the chairman of the Thrice to him for the life current trends and let us have a set of cares that are received the King of all come visibly upon by the jaws of Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Let us submissively represent the chairman of the Thrice to him for the life current trends and let us have a set of cares that are received the King of all come visibly upon by the jaws of Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. God cleanse me, sinner, have mercy on me. God cleanse me, sinner, have mercy on me. God cleanse me, sinner, have mercy on me. Lift up your arms to the high place and praise the Lord. Our Bishop, His Grace, the Lady Aunt, Bishop of Edmonton, the Western Aparchy, locum tenants of the Metropolitan Throne, all Orthodox High, Rector, Honorable Priests of the Diaconate in Christ and all monastic ranks, those who minister and those who sing in this holy temple, may the Lord God remember this kingdom always, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. The honorable and ever memorable founders, benefactors, and parishioners of this holy temple, may Lord God remember this kingdom always, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. You and all Orthodox Christians, may Lord God remember this kingdom always, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Noble Joseph took out the most good body from the tree, wrapped in his leaf, shrouded in the spices, and laid it in the tomb. The tomb of the body, he hated his own soul, and pretty soon he came from the father and the son. The father and the spirit were placed in the tomb, until nothing came from the circumstance, and laid it more than the tomb of the tomb. And brighter than any of the name of the world, chamber, the tomb of Christ, the source of the resurrection. Noble Joseph took out the most good body from the tree, wrapped in his leaf, shrouded in the spices, and laid it in a new tomb. Do 
good, O Lord, and your good pleasure to Zion. Let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then we'll be pleased with a sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and whole burnt offerings. Then we'll offer bullocks upon your altar. Let us complete our prayer to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the precious gifts set forth, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction with danger and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. That this whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, regarding our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Forgiveness, remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. All that is going to be beneficial for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. A Christian into our life, painless, blameless, and peaceful, good defense before the judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Grant this, O Lord. Calling to remembrance our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another, and all our life unto Christ, our God. To you. O Lord God Almighty, who alone are holy, who accept the sacrifice of praise from those who call, call upon you with their whole heart, accept also the prayer of us sinners and bear it to your holy altar, enabling us to offer unto you gifts and spiritual sacrifices for our sins and for the heirs of the people. Make us worthy to find grace in your sight that our sacrifice may be acceptable unto you, and that the good spirit of your grace may dwell upon us and upon these gifts here offered and upon all your people. Through the compassions of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all-holy, good and life Holy spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of age, all. Amen. May peace be unto all. And to your spirit. Let us love one another that with one mind we may confess. The Father and you, the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Trinity, one in essence and undivided. <coughs> the doors, the doors, and wisdom, let us be attentive. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages. Light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, being of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from the heavens and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man, who was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And he rose on the third day according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets, in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, I await the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Let us stand aright, let us stand in fear, let us be attentive that we may offer the holy oblation in peace. A mercy of peace, a sacrifice of praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord. It is proper and right to worship 
the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in essence and undivided. It is proper right to sing to you, to, bl to bless you, to praise you, to thank you, and to worship you <clears throat> in all places of your dominion. For you are God, ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, existing forever, ever the same. You and your only begotten Son, <clears throat> your Holy Spirit, you brought us out of nothing into being. When you fell, you raised us up again and did not cease to do everything to led us to heaven and granted us your kingdom to come. For all these things we thank you, your only begotten Son, your Holy Spirit, for all things done on our behalf, that which we know and that which we do not know, for blessings manifest and unseen. We also may also thank you for this liturgy, which you please accept from our hands, even though you're surrounded by thousands of archangels, by tens of thousands of angels, the cherubim, the seraphim, and six women, many eyes soaring aloft on their wings. Singing the triumphant hymn, proclaiming, crying out and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy <coughs> Lord of Sabaoth, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. With these blessed powers, O Master, lover of mankind, we too cry out and say, Holy are you and all holy, your only begotten Son, your Holy Spirit. Holy are you and all holy and magnificent is your glory. For you so loved the world, you gave your only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Having come and having fulfilled all the dispensation for us on the night he was given up, or rather gave himself up for life of the world, he took bread in his holy, pure, and blameless hands, gave thanks, blessed it, sanctified it, broke it, and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, <clears throat> Take it. This is my body, which is broken for you for the forgiveness of sin. Amen. Likewise, after the supper, he took the cup, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Amen. <clears throat> Remembering, therefore, the saving commandments, all that came to pass across the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, sit at the right hand, second glory is coming again. Yours of your own we offer to you on behalf of all and for all. We praise you, we bless you, we give thanks unto you. Again, we offer into this rational blood, this worship, we beseech you, we pray to you, and supplicate you, and send down your Holy Spirit upon your holy, upon uh, these gifts here set forth. O God, cleanse me, sinner, and have mercy on me. O God, cleanse me, sinner, and have mercy on me. O God, cleanse me, sinner, and have mercy on me. O Lord, who at the third hour to send down most Holy Spirit upon you, Apostles, and have taken from us a good and for renewals, we pray unto you, create in me a clean heart, of God, and clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. O Lord, who at the third hour did send down the most Holy Spirit upon your apostles to have taken from us a good one, but renews who pray unto you. Cast me not away from your presence, take not your Holy Spirit from me. O Lord, who at the third hour did send down the most Holy Spirit upon your apostles to have taken from us a good one, but renews who pray unto you. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. And that which is in this cup the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Making the change by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 That they may be to those who partake for the purification of soul, for the forgiveness of sins, the robe of incorruption, of your, for the communion of the Holy Spirit, for the fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, for boldness toward you, not for judgment or condemnation. Again, we offer unto you this, this rational worship for those who have fallen asleep in the faith. Ancestors, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and every righteous spirit made perfect in faith. Especially for most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious city Theotokos, 
an ever virgin Mary. It is truly worthy to bless you, O Theotokos, ever blessed, most pure, and the mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without corruption you gave birth to God the Word. True Theotokos, we magnify you. For the Holy Prophet, Forerunner and Baptist, John of the Holy Glorious and all laudable apostles, the martyrs Eustratus, Erctinus, Eugene, Mardarius, and Ostratus at Sebast, the virgin martyr Lucy of Syracuse, the venerable, Arcadius, monk of Novotrosk, the venerable Madrenius, recluse of the Kievan caves, the venerable Arsenius of Latros, the venerable Nicodemus of Romania, Saint Judoch, hermit of Pontiu, Saint Eris, monk, whom we commemorate today of all your saints and whose supplication look down upon us, O God, remember all those who have fallen asleep in the hope and resurrection and eternal life, especially for the newly departed servant to God, Nicholas, and grant them rest where light of your countenance shines. Again, we entreat you, remember, O Lord, all the Orthodox Episcopate, and rightly teach the word of your truth, all the priests and deacons in Christ, and, of, and every order of clergy. Again, we offer to this ritual worship for those who, for the whole world, for the Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, for those who live in chastity, holiness of life, for all the civil authorities. Grant them, O Lord, peaceful times that we in their tranquility may lead a calm and peaceful life and all godliness and sanctity. Among the first, remember, O Lord, his grace, Aledion, Bishop of Edmonton in the Western Apurkey, locum tenens of the Metropolitan Throne. Grant for him your holy churches and peace, safety, honor, health, length the days rightly to find the word of your truth. And all mankind. Remember, O Lord, this city in which we dwell in every city and country, those who dwell in faith. Remember, O Lord, the travelers by land, sea, and air, the sick, the suffering, the the captives and their salvation. Remember, O Lord, all those who bring offerings and do good works in your holy churches. Those who remember the poor and upon us all send forth your mercies. And grant that with one mouth and one heart may praise most honorable, majestic name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. And may the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. And with your spirit. Having remembered all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the precious gifts offered and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That our God, who loves mankind, having received them on his holy heaven, the ideal altar, as an offering spiritual fragrance, may in return sent upon his divine grace. And the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Lord, for our deliverance from all affliction, from danger and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. That this whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, guarding our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. Forgiveness, remission for sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. All that is going to be beneficial for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. A Christian enter our life painless, blameless, and peaceful, good defense before the judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Grant this, o Lord. Having asked for the unity of faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us command, command ourselves one another and all our life unto Christ, our God. We do you, Lord. We entrust your whole life and hope, O Master, lover of mankind. We ask, pray, and entreat you, make us worthy to partake with a clear conscience of your heavenly and awesome mysteries of the sacred and spiritual table for the forgiveness of sins, pardon of transgressions, communion of the Holy Spirit, inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, 
boldness before you, not for judgment or condemnation. And make us worthy, O Master, with boldness and without condemnation, to dare call on you, the heavenly God, as Father, and to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Oče naš, što je se na nebesa, nekaj si te sem nja tvoje, nekaj prede sarstvo tvoje, nekaj bude voje tvoje, jak na nebi, tak i na zemlji. Pred nas so sušnim danom si hodni i proste nam provene naši, jak i me prošajmo venovacom našem. I ne vede nas v spokusu, ali vezvoj nas v lukavoho. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be unto all. And to your spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. To you, O Lord. We give thanks to you, O visible King, who in your infinite power created all things in the abundance of your mercy and brought all things out of nothingness into being. Look down from heaven, O Master, upon those who have bowed their heads, and to you they bowed not to flesh and blood, but before you, the awesome God. Therefore, O Master, you yourself distribute these gifts here set forth unto all of us for good, according to the individual needs. Sail with those who sail, travel those who travel, heal the sick, O physician of our souls and bodies. Through the grace, mercy, and love for mankind of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all-holy, good and life granting spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of age of Our God, of your holy dwelling place in the throne of glory in your kingdom, and come and sanctify us who sit on high with the Father, and also you invisibly present among us, and grant by your almighty hand and your body and precious blood might be given to us and through us to all your people. Bože, očiste me na hrišno, pomilno mene, God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy on me. Bože, očiste me na hrišno i pomilno mene. Let us be attentive, the holy things for the holy. One is holy, one is Lord, Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. I believe, O Lord, and I confess that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am first. 
I also believe that this is truly your own most pure body and that this is truly your own precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy on me and forgive my transgressions, both voluntary and involuntary, of word and of deed, committed in knowledge or in ignorance, and make me worthy to partake without condemnation of your most pure mysteries for the remission of sins and for eternal life. Amen. Of your mystical supper, O Son of God, receive me today as a communicant, for I will not speak of the mysteries of your enemies, neither like Judas will I give you a kiss, but like the thief will I confess you. Remember me, O Lord, in your kingdom. May the communion of your holy mysteries, O Lord, be neither to my judgment nor condemnation, but unto the healing of soul and body. Amen. Praise the Lord from the heavens, praise him in the highest. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Rejoice the, in the Lord, you righteous. Praise befits the upright. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. With the fear of God, with faith and love, draw near. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. God is the Lord and has revealed himself to us.
Shine, shine, O Jerusalem, the glory of the Lord is shone on thee. Exalt now and be glad, O Zion. Be radiant to appear at the token of the resurrection of the one who thou didst bear. Wash away, O Lord, the sins of all those who have been remembered here today through the prayers of all your saints. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. We have seen the true light. We have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the true faith, worshiping the undivided trinity who has saved us. Blessed is our God. Always, now, whenever, and unto the ages of age of. Let our mouths be filled with your praise, O Lord, that we may sing of your glory. For you have made us worthy to partake of your holy, divine, immortal, and life-giving mysteries. Keep us in your holiness, that all day long we may meditate upon your righteousness. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Let us stand upright, having partaken of the divine, holy, most pure, heavenly, life giving, and awesome mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have Having asked that the whole day be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commend ourselves and one another and all our life unto Christ our God. To you, Lord. We thank you, O Master, lover of mankind, benefactor of our souls, that today you have made us worthy of your heavenly immortal mysteries. Make straight our path, establish us all in your fear, guard our life, make firm our steps. Through the prayers and supplica supp supplications of the glorious Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary and of all your saints. For you are sanctification, to we send up glory to the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us depart in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O Lord, who bless those who bless you and sanctifies those who trust in you, save your people and bless your inheritance. Preserve the fullness of your church, sanctify those who love the beauty of your house, glorify them in return by your divine power, and do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to your priests, and to all your people. For every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, coming down to you, the Father of light. And to you we send up glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto the ages of age. Oh. Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O Lord, Almighty God of our fathers, who has said through thy chosen vassal, the Apostle Paul, that all thy creation is good, and that nothing is rejected which through thy divine word and prayer is sanctified, mercifully look down upon this paschal trichirion, which thy servants have provided for the glory of thy most holy name, and to the service of the, thy holy altar, and with thy heavenly blessing and the prayer of us, Thy unworthy servants and servers, mercifully bless and sanctify it, and manifest it to be worthy for thy service of thy holy altar, bestowing upon it thy heavenly grace, and grant them remission of sins, and make them partakers of thy kingdom. For thou art the God of mercy and compassion, and love for mankind, and unto thee we send up glory, 
together with their most holy, good, and life creating spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of age. Amen. Look down, O Lord, on this our prayer we humbly pray and send down thy blessings on this Paschal Trichirion. And through the sprinkling of this holy water, bless and sanctify it, making it meet for the service of the holy altar. Look down, O Lord, and bless our God, and on our prayer we humbly pray, send down thy blessings on this Paschal Trichirion. And through the sprinkling of this holy water, bless and sanctify it, making it meet for the servants of the holy altar. Look down, O Lord our God, on this prayer. We humbly pray and send down upon thy blessings on this Paschal Trichirion. And through the sprinkling of this holy water, bless and sanctify it, making it meet for the servants of the holy altar. May the blessings of the Lord be upon you through his grace, mercy, and love for mankind, always, now, and ever, unto the ages of age. Oh. Amen. Glory to you, O Christ, our God, our hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, give the blessing. May Christ, your true God, who rose from the dead, have mercy on us and save us through the intercessions of his most pure mother, our Father among the saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, of the Holy Fathers, of whom we commemorate today, the martyrs, Eustratius, Achetius, Eugene, Mardarius, and Ost. Ost Stratus et Sebast, the Virgin Martyr Lucia of Cruz, the Venerable Arcadius Monk of Novotrosk, the Venerable Mardarius Recluse of the Kievan Caves, the Venerable Arsenius of Lavros, the Venerable Nicodemus of Romania, Saint Judoc Hermit of Pontiu, Saint Arius Monk, and of all the saints, for his majesty is good and the lover of mankind. Slava Jesus Christ. Glory Slava be to Jesus you. Christ. Glory be forever. I thank you again, as always, for joining us for the Divine Liturgy. Um, as a, as a, a note, um, at the back in the vestibule on the table is uh, the 2022 uh, cal service calendar um, for, for our Okanagan Parochial District. Um, so please, I encourage you, um, if you haven't got it, I, I know I did send out an electronic copy, um, but if somebody wants a hard copy, there is a, a few copies at the back. As well, um, our annual wall calendar that uh, is sponsored um, this year again by uh, Kamloops uh, Funeral Home um, here in town he is at the back of, on the uh, table as well in the vestibule um, uh, this this year's calendar has icons of the Holy Theotokos um, in it um, so please encourage you it's a uh, something to take it reminds us of the of course the fasting periods and the saints of of the various days through the year, um, but uh, also uh, all of the proceeds uh, this year, uh, as, as it was last year, um, we ordered the calendars through our Eastern Eparchy, and it's a, a fundraising endeavor that they partake in, um, that all of the proceeds for the calendars that they bring in actually goes to um, support their Eastern Eparchy Orphanage project. They sponsor an orphanage in Ukraine that all of the funds for the calendars uh, go to, much like we, we have our, our sponsored orphanage for the Western Eparchy. So it's uh, their fundraising efforts that uh, His Grace Bishop Aledion, um with the Consistory Board decided this year our national church would all contribute and support that through uh, the calendar the annual wall calendar uh, this year. So please 
take one for your, uh, for your home uh, when you are leaving. Um, and uh, as well, we had a various ge a generous donation of this Paschal Trikirion, uh, which I have to uh, thank uh, all of you for, for donating for this. It's, uh, it's a very, a very beautiful gift. And uh, when we have celebrate Pascha, as we are celebrating Pascha this year here in Kamloops, we will uh, very joyously uh, be using this uh, Paschal Trikirion uh, at that a service so thank you very much with that i invite you all up for the veneration of the cross and to partake in the antidotum um, and remind you uh, we do have divine liturgy in a week's time on the 2nd of january uh, that will be for the julian calendar uh, celebrants um, so all of us uh, uh, ukrainians we will be celebrating the sunday before the nativity on the 2nd of january and of course, our uh, nativity uh, services will be, um, the nativity actual feast day is going to be served in Kelowna this year. And then, um, but the Theophany Blessing of Water Eve, the 18th, will be here in Kamloops. And then the Divine Liturgy with the Blessing of Water on the 19th will be in Kelowna. Uh, so please mark those on your calendars and, and, and join us for, uh, if you're able to, travel beyond Kamloops, um, but at least join us for the services here. Christ is in our midst. He is in all we shall be.